Free maths lessons. Further sequences. With harder quadratic sequences, it can be tricky to spot a pattern. You can use simultaneous equations to find the nth term of any quadratic sequence. You need to find three unknowns, so you will need to form three simultaneous equations. Worked example. The first four terms of a quadratic sequence are 10, 15, 28 and 49. Work out the nth sum of this quadratic sequence. Pause the video to answer this question and remember to provide all your working out. Here's some additional information that will help you answer this question. Here's the working out. Here I've provided the final answer. Check it. Use the value for U4 given in the question to check your answer. I provided an explanation for this below. Geometric progressions. You need to be able to recognize a special type of sequence called the geometric progression. In a geometric progression, there is a constant ratio between each term and the next. Here are two examples of geometric progressions. You can write the term to term rule of a geometric progression using iterative notation. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like and share.